Well, this video is going to suck. Okay, let's just get straight into it. Uh, you may know me as the Retro Game Rater, and if you've been following my channel for some time, you may be wondering why I've suddenly decided to put my face on camera. The short answer to that question is that I'm done. So some of you may have noticed the recent posts on the community tab of my YouTube channel stating that I've recently been having some trouble with YouTube, and a lot more of you probably noticed that my upload frequency of late has been all over the place. I started uploading videos to this channel at the start of 2018, and for the first two years I did my weekly reviews of PS2 and original Xbox titles and had a fun time doing it. Like most people who start a YouTube channel, I began this journey not really looking to become some internet celebrity with millions of subs and millions in the bank, but really just because I thought it was fun and I wanted to see where it could go. As things stand right now, I've uploaded roughly just under 100 video reviews and somehow managed to convince just over 6,200 of you to subscribe to my channel. And while I am proud of this, it's all tinged with a bit of sadness because, well, let's just say I've been unfairly punished by YouTube. A while back, I received what was clearly an automated email from some YouTube robot that basically stated that my channel had been flagged and would never ever be able to take part in the YouTube Partner Program. So why was my account flagged? Well, apparently for something called invalid click activity, which basically means that YouTube thinks I'm trying to inflate my own numbers. Now, considering the fact that the only way I've ever promoted my videos is by sharing the occasional link on Twitter whenever a new video dropped, I was understandably very confused. That was until I did a bit of investigating, and by investigating I mean googling my own name, but basically I found that my videos were being shared across a whole bunch of sites that weren't YouTube. To give you some examples, all of my reviews are being shared on some website based out of Thailand, uh, I also found a bunch of my reviews on an MP3 site based out of Russia, but the strangest example was my review of the game based on the movie Minority Report, which was being shared on an illegal movie site as if it was the movie itself. Since finding this out, I've gone back and changed the settings on my YouTube channel so that this can't happen again. Uh, this also means that the videos were pulled from these random sites around the world, but unfortunately it's too late now as YouTube seems to think I was behind all of this and my channel has been blacklisted and is permanently banned from monetization. I should also say that I have tried reaching out to YouTube YouTube numerous of times through a variety of different channels, um, probably about four or five different appeals in total, and each time I've basically hit a dead end with an automated response that basically just says, nope, you're done, forget about it. So all of this kicked off about a year ago, and over the past year I've been back and forth on what I should do about it. And even though I've put out videos here and there, I've never really been able to shrug off the feeling that I could put out a video that would get 100 million views, which, by the way, none of my videos will ever get, but stick with me. I could put out the most viewed video ever and nothing would come from it because my channel has just been struck off. So at this point I basically only have two options. Option one is that I take time out of my personal life, away from my wife and child, and continue to make videos and rack up views for a channel that YouTube has blacklisted. Option two is to simply start again, and if you're watching this video, then that basically means I've gone with option two. Now on the face of it, this seems like a really bad decision because there's a ton of people out there that would love to have the number of subscribers that I do, and just a year ago even I would have killed to have the number of subscribers that I currently have. Now, for those of you who are fans of my work here, you are obviously under no obligation to follow me over to my new channel, um, but I would really love to see some of you there because interacting with a bunch of you and hearing some of your own stories has been one of the best parts of this experience. If you wanted to swing by and subscribe, the link is in the description to my new channel, Inept Saiyan, and yes, that does unfortunately mean that the name Retro Game Rater is now retired. Now, I've quietly been working away on some new videos, so I do have something to show you right away. Uh, I'll figure out my schedule for my new channel as we go along, but the main thing to note here is that I will still be covering games, nothing is changing in that regard. The only difference is that I won't strictly focus on reviews anymore and will be opening myself up to a bunch of different types of content. This channel isn't going anywhere, all of this content will still be right here because I still think it can be useful to some people, um, and look, it 
really sucks that I feel like I have to leave this channel behind, but at the end of the day, I am still really passionate about making videos, and I feel like the best way to hold on to that passion is to make content for a channel where I feel the progress actually means something. Now, the most important part of this video is that I wanted to make sure I said thank you to you all for your support so far. Whether you found my channel three years ago or three weeks ago, I really do appreciate you taking the time to watch my stuff. Obviously, I hope that you enjoyed my content enough that you're willing to follow me over to my new channel. If not, completely fine and understandable. I just hope that my reviews helped you find an old hidden gem or even just brought back some fond memories. That about wraps it up, to be honest. And once again, thank you so much for sticking with me this far. And hopefully, I'll be seeing you all soon.